Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the best web hosting providers if you're a small business owner and to host your small business website on. Now, I'll drop a link in the description where you can check out more details about this and receive special discounts on all the hosting providers I recommend. All right, so let's get into the video. Now, the first thing I do want to mention is that the hosting providers I'm recommending aren't going to be the regular ones you see in every other video. Because I personally review all of the hosting plans which I do recommend, so these hosting providers are handpicked by me for you for your small business. Now, in my opinion, your two best options for hosting a small business website are going to be Cloudways and Hostinger. Now, both of these hosting companies are slightly different in the methods they use, and you're gonna be getting slightly different features and slightly different reasons to pick each one, just depending on what you need and the functionality you need for your business. So let me go ahead and go over the differences between these two and kind of compare them just so you get an idea of which one you need to pick. So first up we have Cloudways. Now in case you haven't heard about it, because it's not a very well-known system, Cloudways has a very unique business model through which they provide super cost-effective pricing for the efficiency you're going to need on your business website. Now the reason Cloudways does this is because they have a pay-as-you-go system. You'll be seeing monthly plans on their website, but this isn't actually how they sell their website hosting. You see, for Cloudways, you're going to be buying a VPS, a virtual private server. Now, depending on how much data you use, they will charge you a different amount for your hosting plan. So what this means is you can basically customize and pick exactly how much data you're going to be using and how much space you're going to be using, and then Cloudways will actually charge you less because of it. Instead of pretty much every other hosting company where you get a set amount and then you pay a set amount, Cloudways gives you the potential to pay much less if you're going to be using much less features and much less data and performance. Now there is a link in the description where you can actually get a free three day trial with Cloudways. So go ahead and click that if you wanna try it out. It's completely free with no strings attached. Now overall, Cloudways is pretty user friendly. You just have to select the CMS system you want, the server location and the server provider, and then it basically sets it up for you. Now this is slightly interesting because you can actually pick different companies to host your VPS server on when you're using Cloudways. You're not just stuck with one singular company to choose from. You can choose between places like Amazon Web Services and a few others. So you get to pick where you want your VPS server hosted, which is yet another unique feature that Cloudways has. Now Cloudways also provides a VPS without the as complex setup as you would have on a normal VPS server. Because you don't have to set it up, they do that for you. It's really nice because it's not as advanced as other VPS servers, so this is definitely an option for small businesses business owners as opposed to just a normal VPS hosting system or a normal VPS hosting plan. Now you also get access to a custom control panel and you can increase the size of your hosting at any point in time. So let's say you're starting to run out of data, you literally just go into the settings, turn up the size, and now you're paying just a small bit more in order to get that extra functionality. Now next up we have Hostinger. Now I've mentioned Hostinger quite a lot on this channel and that's because quite frankly I am a big fan of Hostinger. Hostinger. I use them for my own personal sites and I really like their platform just overall. Now if Cloudways is too technical or too expensive, two things which definitely do come into play when you're buying from Cloudways, you can consider Hostinger because Hostinger is the cheapest hosting on the market and it's also very easy to use. I was able to set up my own website in about 5-10 to 10 minutes on Hostinger.com and it was really straightforward, I didn't have to learn anything or even try try to learn anything. It just walked me through the process. And that was all for around 99 cents a month, which is an incredible price. Now, one thing you need to consider when you are buying from Hostinger is that that is the price for a first time purchase which means after the plan renews, the price is going to go up. So to get the best functionality and the best prices from Hostinger, you want to go for the longest plan possible. Usually this is around the two-year plan. 
The nice thing being, of course, is that at 99 cents a month, you aren't paying too much for a two year plan. So it's not going to cost too much. And as long as you have that initial cost, that initial amount of money to pay for that plan, it'll definitely be worth it in the long run because you are going to be saving a lot of cash. Now, once you do get a plan with Hostinger, they have a super, super simple setup as I touched on already. It was incredibly easy for me. It basically just guides you through the entire flow and the entire process. And you also get a free domain name, which means you basically have everything you need right out of the box when you're trying to host on Hostinger. You don't have to buy anything else anywhere else and try and transfer it or set it up to connect to your hosting or hosting account. It just comes with everything right out of the box. Now, Hostinger also has management tools, so you can set different levels of management potential to your different employees. And they also have, of course, unlimited emails, which is really, really nice. So just to recap, which ones are better for which type of business? Well, Cloudways is a bit more technologically advanced, but there is a lower upfront cost and they have overall better management tools than Hostinger. The downside being is that the cost over time is more expensive than Hostinger and many of those management tools and extra features which they provide are provided at an extra additional cost. Hostinger on the other hand is cheaper, but it has a larger upfront cost, but it's also easier to use. So overall, the two main distinctions between these two companies are the overtime cost slash upfront cost and the ease of use. If you're not very good with technology, I would definitely recommend going with Hostinger, but if you are a bit better with technology, Cloudways comes back into the picture with their extra features and their VPS hosting plans. Of course, if you have cash on hand upfront, you can go with Hostinger, but as soon as you don't, if you just wanna pay month by month or even hour by hour, then Cloudways is once again gonna be the plan and the hosting provider for you to go with. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just drop them directly in the comments and I'll be sure to respond and answer them to the best of my ability. Also, just a reminder that I have a link in the description with more details on a comparison between these two website providers and so you can receive special discounts if you want to pick up a plan for your small business. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time and have a great day.